So actually the last thing I'm gonna to do to this document is add a table of contents. Right, let me show you how you do that. So I'll just go back to the document here. I actually wanna add the table of contents onto my uh, first page uh, here. So what I'm gonna do that is first of all, you need to add a text frame. So again, use my text frame tool. I'll just drag a, a text frame and that's basically the position that, my, uh, that I want my table of contents to, uh, to be in. So to start with, what I'm gonna do actually is just type in uh, the title. And I'll just call that table of contents. I might just make that a little bit bigger. Um, but now once I've done that, within the same text frame, if I want, uh, I can actually insert the uh, table of contents. And if I go to text at the top, one of the options that you see down here is table of contents. And if I just choose insert table of contents, that will then insert it in. Now, it's important to point out the table of contents, basically what it does is it scans your whole document uh, to find uh, the, the, the headings or anything that you actually want to appear in your table of contents. But the way that that works is by looking at text styles. So again, this is another reason why it's important uh, to, to kind of get in the habit of using text styles. Um, and in fact, in my case, all of the titles that I want to pick out are all using the text style that I set up earlier, which was heading one. So on the left-hand side, on the table of contents tab, I'll just deselect heading two because all I want it to pick up on is all of my heading ones. Okay. Um, and now we've kind of got a few other options. At the moment, you can barely see it, but actually the text is like the wrong format for what I want. Um, and actually, if you go to your text styles tab, um, you've got a couple of options uh, of where you can change the, uh, uh, the format that's being used. So here right, onto this uh, uh, TOC2 entry, I'm actually going to uh, edit that text style. Um, and I'm actually gonna base that text style on my body textile. So that then automatically picks up exactly the same style that I used on my body text on the rest of, on the, rest of the document. Um, and as you can see, that's now added all of, the, all of the titles that I had across my document and it picks up on the page number um, of, uh, of where those documents were. Um, you've got various other options, of course, to play with, uh, with table of contents. So if we just go anywhere on this table of contents here, for example, I could choose that I want my numbers before the, 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 the titles of the, of the text. At the moment, uh, I've kind of got the, uh, uh, the, the, the thing that separates the, uh, the title of the page and the page number is just a tab, but alternatively, I could type something else in as my separator, just a dash or something else in this case. Um, it's also worth saying that at the moment, this table of contents, because I've actually already got it on this page, it's automatically just saying, well, you probably only wanna have a table of contents from all pages going forward, so the first one it actually picks up on is this your new uh, reality. But um, you could change that too, and I could say, well, actually, I want to include all table of contents. Um, and in fact, in that case, if I just make that a bit bigger, uh, you can see that's now also picking up on my very first title of the document, which is actually the same page that the table of contents is on. Um, so that's just a very quick way to add a uh, table of contents. Of course, there's all kinds of options about the way that you wanna get those things formatted. Um, but again, the important thing is, um, is that the way that they fundamentally work is by picking up uh, on, 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 on titles and text uh, that are based on specific textiles.